Good morning, everybody. Stetson with Stetson Lawn Care here. It's Tuesday morning, and we're about to go do some work. We got a mulch job. Then we're gonna be scalping a pretty big yard in my neighborhood. And we also have a little cleanup of a, a little of an overgrown yard that I had her, I had this customer last season. I contact, got in contact with her twice uh, over the, I mean, in the past two months, I, I texted her and called her, got no response. And then she texted me Sunday night and just said, hey, Stetson, are you still gonna be able to mow our yard this year? And so I was like, well, I contacted you two months back and you never replied. Uh, but yeah, I can still do that. So it is a little overgrown, she said, but we're gonna bang it out. The right can handle it, no problem. And so it's gonna be fun. That'll be some good recording footage. But then we're gonna, so first things first, get some mulch. Finish, go to the mulch job, shouldn't take more than an hour. Then we're gonna go to the overgrown house. Then we're gonna come back to my neighborhood, scalp the yard over there, and we might mow. I mow my neighbor over there as well. So, might mow that today, might do it tomorrow. Not sure, we're solo again, guys. Uh, we did work yesterday, didn't record. I just wasn't in the mood, guys, you know? Uh, a lot of you don't understand because you probably don't record, but some days on YouTube, you just, like you start the video, I had an intro and everything. I just, I wasn't in the mood for recording, man. I was just trying to get done. Yesterday was pretty hot outside. It was like 90. I mean, it was like 87, but heat in, the heat index was probably about 90. And I mean, that's crazy for April. We're still in spring here in Oklahoma, so. Uh, tomorrow is gonna be like 92 or some crazy crap so that tells me we're gonna have a pretty hot summer which I mean yeah I guess it's expected since last year's summer was pretty mild honestly the hottest we got was like 115 but that was only one day so uh, that wasn't bad at all so let's hope this year isn't too bad <laughs> but guys we're gonna head to get some mulch and but before we go, I actually, I got something in the mail that I want to share with you guys. So let's go check that. So I got home yesterday and this was in the mailbox. So it's from Tubbo Towels. I don't know if you guys heard of them. They're, uh, oh, they're just like grease towels. You know, they get, they get white, they're wipes, but they get grime and dirt and oil and grease off your hand. Okay, I'm gonna put this on my console so we can check it out, man. So, here's what we got, guys. We got tub of towels, heavy duty hand cleaner. So, this is like a okay, yeah. So, this is like a gel, sort of like um, what's it called? Hand sanitizer, but I guess a heavier. Maybe this is like uh, Gojo, you know, Gojo, that crazy cleaner stuff that you have that people have in shops and stuff. So, we got heavy duty cleaning wipes, and we got another pack of heavy, heavy duty cleaning wipes. So, we got two packs of their uh, cleaning wipes for your hands, I guess. Um, see, I have right now, I have this. It's gas off uh, towels that I got from like Walmart or something. So we'll have to see how they compare to these. Um, honestly, these don't work that great, but you never know, man. So uh, yeah, I just want to show you guys, we got some, tub of some stuff from Tub of Towels. Uh, we, they sent us a pin and a couple stickers. So that's pretty cool. Uh, thank you guys for that. We'll have to see how these compare. But all right, guys. So we're going to head to the first yard. See you guys when we get there. All right, guys. So I'm just pulling up to the mulch job. I'm just kind of checking that. We just got to pull some weeds out and put fresh mulch down. So it won't take long. I did get bags because it's a small job, like I said. Uh, just and she just wanted plain cedar man. I, I hate the look of plain cedar, but Some people like it. I guess I mean it's a cheaper option. That's probably why people do it, <clears throat> but So yeah, I'm gonna show you guys a big before and I'm gonna show you after I'm not gonna record Record it during so we got This side over here, which has no weeds at all over here Back here and then down here and that's it guys so see you guys in about an hour for me but a couple seconds for you all right guys so that was about exactly an hour started at 9 30 uh 10 32. so we got this mulch job all done just with re regular cedar uh so we got everything mulched up got all the weeds pulled 
over here. I wish that she would have wanted would have wanted grade A cedar, but that's all right. Still looks pretty good. If you're wondering why this is a different color, this part the bag was wet. So yeah, but guys, here it is. Left the dandelions for her, the lilies, some crepe myrtles coming out of the lilies too. So uh, she says she's gonna trim her own bushes. So didn't even want to fuss with that. But guys, we got it all done. So now that we're done here. We're gonna head to that little cleanup job, clean up the front yard real quick, and then we're heading to my neighborhood. So see you guys at the next one. Okay, so we just pulled up to the overgrown yard, and honestly, it's not that bad compared to how I've seen this yard in the past. So here it is, just a little overgrowth, a lot of branches in the yard. I'll just pull those to the side of the house. Uh, oh, cool, we got a wasp nest over here. I mean, there's wasps, wasps flying around. Ooh, okay, so sorry guys. Sorry, I got sidetracked. I think I'm gonna ask them if they just want to get this tree cut down, um, honestly. Cause I mean, this thing's dead and it's already half, half of it's on the ground right here. <laughs> so I might ask that, but we're gonna use the ride on this one. So guys, enjoy this moment. So we just finished this up. The right handled this just fine, man. No problems at all. So, and that right's a little beast, a little 36. But now we're gonna head to my house, drop off the mulch, because we're gonna be filling my bed with grass. So, and then we're gonna scalp. Then we're gonna call it a day, because it'll be about three by then. Gotta head to get the compost before four. Gotta go home tonight, and I got some stuff to do, so. Yeah, guys, we just finished up. Looks good. So I will see you guys at the next one. Okay, right, so we just pulled up to the next one, or the last one of the day. We're gonna scalp this one up, guys. Haven't decided if I wanna use the right on the front. I think it's dry enough. I know we've had some rain the past few weeks, or the past few days, but yeah. Oh yeah, it's plenty dry to use the right. Okay, great. So what I'm gonna do is scalp the front. And then in the backyard, I'm gonna mow it without the bag. And then we're gonna go over it again with the bag to pick up the clippings. So let's get this done. Okay, so we just got the front scalp finished. Now we're gonna head to the back. And like I said, we're gonna be mowing it without the bag first, and then we're gonna go over it with the bag. So, we're already about halfway full. So 
it should be good to go. Let's get it done. Oh my lord. Everybody, we are done here, man. We're here two hours, which is just what I anticipated. Got here at 12, <clears throat> and it's uh, 2.15. So, good to be done here, man. Actually, this was the last yard of scalping, guys. So, <clears throat> sorry, my throat's a little dry. So, we're done scalping, fellas. Uh, we're man, I mean, I'm pretty sure we're done. So, that's awesome. I'm so excited. I'm so happy. Dustiest time of the year. It's over, man. Now we just kind of wait for uh, weeds to be growing or, you know, grass. So, yeah. But I'm going to, since I'm right down the street from my house, I'm going to take my trailer home and then go to the compost with and dump all the grass. So, I'll take you guys along with me. Let's do it. All right, guys. We are all emptied out back there. Feels good to be done. Be done for the day. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm taking tomorrow off because everything can wait until I think from now on got a couple mulch jobs and a couple mowings but they're not scalpings I need to talk to you guys about something but I think I'm gonna wait till I get home and we'll talk about it so yeah we're gonna go ahead and do that so see you guys when we go alright so we are back home a couple things I want to talk to you guys about first one there's a wash right there. First one being is, check this out what we got in the mail today. We got some bumper stickers, all right? Or stickers to put on your truck. They're just big Stetz Lawn Care stickers. I ordered 50 of them. It was about, I think it was like 70 bucks for these stickers. So, I am actually, I have a website shop in the works. Just right now, I wanna be selling t-shirts and stickers. I'm not gonna sell hats yet. I'm not gonna sell long sleeve shirts yet. Just t-shirts and stickers. And I think there's one other thing. I don't remember. So I have the website. I'm, I haven't released it yet. It's not live. And I'm still trying to figure out the payment methods, but I don't know if I want to release it until I get more subscribers. I mean, I wanna know how many of you guys would buy a t-shirt or a sticker if I had them in the shop because I feel like where I am right now 3,000 subs basically I don't think that my channel is big enough and I don't feel like there'd be enough demand so I don't want to spend a thousand dollars on merch up front and then have you guys have nobody buy it so I'm just sitting on it for a whole year you know not making any money so it's basically just a waste so I want to I want to know I want you guys to comment if you would buy and someone's coming here now. I want to know if you guys would buy a t-shirt or a sticker. So we got bumper stickers and then we got the little smaller stickers that are probably like a third of the size of this. So imagine this, but like a third of the size and it's the smaller ones. So I just want to talk about that, man. I mean, let me know if you guys, what you guys think I should do. Should I open a merch shop or should I wait until I have like, you know, seven, 8,000, even maybe even 10,000. I don't know. I've talked to a bunch of people about this and it's both both sides. Some people say I should wait. Some people say I should do it now. So I want to ask you guys who would be buying stuff, if you want me to start selling these shirts, but short sleeves, and then on the back, it would have just my logo and then the YouTube, Instagram, and Facebook logos. So I wouldn't have my numbers, any of that stuff. So it would just be simple. Let me know what you guys think if I should do it. Next topic. All right, sorry guys, we got out of the truck and now we're in the garage. But we got all the equipment up for the day. I need to actually get the stuff out of my truck and put it in here. So here's my question to you guys. All right, here's what I want to talk about, I guess. This is gonna be the title of today's video. Is your equipment, is it worth the investment? Basically what I'm asking, or what I'm saying. Here, oh yeah, by the way. Here's the size of the other sticker that I was telling you about. So you see it's way smaller than the other one. That's just for like a decal or something. Sorry about that. Okay, back to the topic. Is it worth the investment, guys? Is having the right worth the investment? Is buying a new mower worth the investment? So basically, a lot, I've had a lot of people ask me, they've said, you know, when should I buy a zero turn? Or when should I buy a bigger mower? And when can I justify to buy a new mower, a, a, a zero turn is the main, re the big thing I get asked, or you know, a stand on right, a standard B, for instance. I mean, that's a good starter mower for sure. And my, my, I mean, what I would say is, wait until you have 
wait until how what the payment is so i mean you guys can finance equipment i finance my ride but that's only because i'm 19. i need to start building credit for the future if i'm going to be buying a house in a couple years so that's the only reason i financed this i had plenty of money to pay cash but uh, i was talking to a few people and they said you should finance it you need to start building credit so very very glad i did that too i mean the payments are cheap i put two thousand down the payments are like 128 a month on this right so not bad at all it's definitely uh made its money back already i mean i could have paid it off by now if i would have paid it in cash already yeah what i was saying sorry is it when when is it justifiable to buy a bigger mower or buy a zero turn and i would say i mean to have a mower payment and i would say like maybe whenever you have enough yards to where you can pay the mower double so basically if like my mower payments one we'll just say 130 so 130 so if i had double so if i was making double the money on mowing i would buy this mower so 130 so 26 so if i was making 260 dollars in mowing a month I would buy the mower. So I would do double. Make sure your payments are, uh, you are making double what the payments are when you're mowing. So you just need to make sure that and then make sure you save it for the off season too. You got to think about that in the long run. You need to be saving enough money to be afford your mower payments in the off season. And what I would suggest guys, pay more during the season. I watched a video where this guy said like, pay more during the season and then don't pay it in the off season or something and that's the worst advice i've ever heard uh you should you always have to pay it <laughs> i mean come on it's just if you pay if you pay double i usually what i'm doing now is i'm paying double so i'm paying 260 a month and trying to get this paid off faster and so i can get the credit for it but i want to have i want the lenders to like me so that's why i'm paying a lot uh, if you guys want to do that then you'll pay it off faster is what i'm trying to say so that's my two cents on when you should buy a mower. I've had a lot of people ask me that question. A lot of DMs on Instagram, actually. So, and I, oh, by the way, guys, yesterday I on Instagram, I uploaded a little mowing footage video, mowing some fescue with the grass gobbler. So if you don't follow me on Instagram, you missed that. Instagram, Stets Lawn Care. It's in the description of the video, but you guys get uh, sneak peeks. Sometimes when I don't upload YouTube videos, I'll upload videos on Instagram, just little mowing clips and stuff like that so if you want to check that out go follow me on instagram stets long care put the link in the description as i always do so yeah that's basically it guys just whenever it whenever when are you when is it justified to buy a mower there's your answer when you are making at least double if not triple your payments a month so yeah hope you guys enjoyed this video like i said not working tomorrow so i will see you guys thursday carlos hopefully carlos will be back he got he actually cut a chunk of his thumb out guys it was disgusting he sent me a picture oh it was nasty so hopefully he's he's all better to come to work on thursday we'll have to see but if not then we'll just be doing some mulch by ourselves so guys hope you enjoyed see y'all later peace out <laughs>